when you see your uh, when you see your child just sitting there and you're just supposed to monitor him and it just seemed like he was slowly withering away. I'm Xander Cabalas and I'm proud to be the Capiolani Children's Miracle Network Champion. I first met Xander almost immediately after he was admitted to a Kapiolani Hospital by transfer uh, from another hospital. He was actually in shock. It was my job to find out what was happening. He had a fever, um, bloodshot eyes that progressed to swelling of his eyelids, and then he developed this really dramatic rash. Um, over the next two or three days until the time we saw him. You could tell actually from one look at him as to what the diagnosis was, which was called toxic epidermal necrolysis. TENS is the most severe form of Stevens-Johnson syndrome uh, where it can be fatal. It attacks anything mucosal in their body. So your eyes and your lungs and your skin, just everything you're not really thinking about becomes like a rash and then turns into a burn and completely sloughs off. It was absolutely traumatic. The, he lost over 60% of his skin. We had taken the approach and been quite successful in the past by basically treating these patients as if they had a uh, major burn from a uh, fire. This was mostly protective. I think our biggest sign that really, I mean, it kind of gave us a second wind was Xander, he doesn't have full mobility just yet, but finds enough strength to kind of lift his arm up in the air and throw us a shaka. And that was like, that was everything. For us, it's such a reminder of, you know, how you can kind of just get through anything. Some children go blind in this condition. There was hourly maintenance in terms of medicine. There were procedures done multiple times a day. It took that level of, of detail and care to even give him a chance to do so well. Then of course, Xander's determination and resilience those two things put together, I think that's what caused such a good result. They definitely saved my life. Being seven years old and I was sick, um, it was very helpful that a lot of these doctors and nurses came in and they would walk this through or break things down to me as me being a child. So they would cheer me on and they would laugh, make things enjoyable. If it weren't for a lot of my doctors, like my eye specialists and all of them, we wouldn't have first received notice of what conditions I had and what may or may not become more severe. It's not only just his story, I think his personality. It's what makes him a sure fit for being a champion. You know, the uh, strength that he carried with him when he was sick resonates and I think other people that's uh, around them can feel it. Being the Kapiolani champion is a is a big uh, step for me. Oftentimes people don't recognize uh, my condition. Uh, when I walk around I may seem like a normal kid and so if you start to get to know me you can see how much I might have gone through. It's just a very good motivation and perspective kind of thing for uh, others to know because some may think that things are impossible, but you just got to be strong and then think positive. When you have rare conditions that require minute-to-minute -minute care and every possible specialty, that's what you can get from a children's hospital. At the end of the day, you don't realize you're going to need those 
things that that type of hospital until unfortunately on your worst day when you really do need them. And for us, we were lucky enough that Capriolani was there to support us.